Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to Crabs on the Beach. My name is John Flanningham. I'm one of the uh, chefs here at Crabs. Uh, I'm very fortunate. I've been uh, cooking here on the Gulf Coast for over 35 years. And uh, we have some of the best red snapper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a snapper cutting demonstration to show you how to get the best out of your fish. And since we've got this, our special, of course, you saw when you came in, the specials for today, fresh red snap. This is going to show you exactly how fresh the red snapper is. And of course, you, you can actually, we have a, uh, a fish track system on our, on our fish. You can actually go to it through a scan, a bar code, scan code, and it'll tell you the vessel, and of course, the exact type of fish. The vessel that it was caught on, the captain of the vessel, uh, the port that it was landed in, and of course the exact destination within a couple of a couple of feet, you know, because they don't want to give out their secret spots, but a couple of feet of exactly where the fish was caught. So uh, it's, it's real nice to know that we are actually serving the real fresh uh, golf, golf red snapper. And in fact, uh, Pensacola is known for golf red snapper. If you look it up, you Google it, within the first paragraph, it's going to say we're the snapper capital of the world. Have been, always will be. So uh, when you're here in Pensacola, if you've never been here before, please try to enjoy red right. snapper. Let me show you, these are probably about 12 pounds a piece. And I'm going to show you the technique. And these are uh, caught off a boat, uh, comes out of Destiny. And like I say, it has that special tag system. And they even have a special cleaning system. When they put the fish on ice, they not only they dress and feed the belly full of fish, full of ice, but they also have a certain amount that they can put into each pallet. And then the pallets are stacked upon each other. Instead of having all the, the fish just sort of pressing, compressed against each other, it has a little ice layer in between. So the fish is always nice and firm and fresh. Like I said, it's a real good cooling system. That's the only uh, boat like it on the whole Gulf Coast. We're just going to cut across this collarbone right here. And I see I, I go all the way deep inside the head there because there's a little piece of meat right there along that, that head cavity right there. Is that how you play offense? In fact, you know what? I forgot the most important thing, safety first. Whenever you're cutting on a, on a surface, you always want to put a, uh, uh, a towel or something underneath to make sure the, the cutting board doesn't slip and slide because you're going to have enough problem with the fish trying to slip and slide. You don't want the board doing the same thing. And I said I just pierced inside the flesh there, and I'm just going to run right along this uh, backbone here, this fins, and then we'll go across to the other side, the, you know, loosen the tail, and when the fish is, I mean, when it comes straight out of the water, sometimes we're able to get cobia right off the pier, and when it comes straight out of the water, the fish is so taut that uh, when you actually, when I make that one cut right there, it releases all the pressure on the fish, so it makes it easier to cut. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just sort of going to press it, press against the uh, the inside of the fish, the backbone, and it allows me to get to the other side, as you can see, the other side of the fish, there's a little piece of uh, backbone right in the center of it. And I'm going to start here at the tail, and just same thing, I'm going along that, that thin line, and I'll go right here to the belly, there's a, you're going to see there's going to be a nice bone, see how the bones are right across that belly bone right there, and the guy, that's it, the sharp knife. The, guy, the knife does pretty much all the work. All I have to do is just guide it along. Pull that nice red snapper fillet. Let me show you how to skin it in just a moment. I'm just going to get a handful for the kitchen so I have, uh, have our special to run tonight. Same method on the other side. Like I say, going all the way to the top of the head. Straight down that backbone. And like I said, I'm just sort of pressing on the fish, which, which makes the, the flesh sort of pick up off the bone. And you can hear it, you can hear it, it's sort of like tickling the backbones. You can hear my knife sort of running across the backbone. That, that lets you know that you're doing a pretty good job. In fact, I'll show you the, the actual uh, the real tail of this right there. But they say if you can uh, read the newspaper, you see the backbones, you did a pretty good job. So I tried to do the best I can. Um, so you want, to be, you want to get as much meat as you possibly can out of it. As you can see, you can pretty much read, your, read two meat up.